Uh, good morning, uh, good afternoon, everybody, and uh, welcome to the latest ADM Agriculture Grain Market Update. Uh, this week, I'm joined by Chris Colley. Chris is our feed barley trader, and um, just for something different, we're going to take a look at the feed barley market this week. So, Chris, it was uh, quite a big crop this year. How's that panned out into the market? Yeah, morning, Jono. Morning, everybody. Um, yeah, I'm just going to focus today on the UK picture, which has been a really interesting season, actually. Um, for the second year in a row, we've seen barley production in the UK around the 8 million tonne mark, um, this time as a result of a record spring barley area of over 1 million hectares following the wet autumn that we saw that led to really quite disappointing uh, winter plantings on wheat and barley. As a result of this uh, this large production, the trade expected a, a pretty large exportable surplus of barley, which was initially forecast at well over 2 million tonnes, um, which alongside this deficit of feed wheat that we've seen has meant that both products have had to work to find their respective import and export parities. And as a result, we've seen the spread between wheat and barley widen out to over £50 per tonne uh, at its peak before Christmas, which historically is a huge discount. OK, so what's that discount meant um, in terms of the domestic feed demand? Yeah, so th this comparative value against other products has uh, has brought barley considerable extra demand in the UK market. And we've seen much higher feed usage across all sectors in the UK. And if you can see on the, on the slides there, the AHDB figures um, approaching 40 percent increase in feed demand. So it's you know massively increased year on year. And we've seen you know sectors of the industry such as the poultry guys um, come into the market and buy feed barley where usually this product does not feature in rations. Um, so as a result, you know, feed consumption in the UK is is much higher year on year and forecast to, to finish at, at over 5 million tonnes, um, which is obviously a, a, a sizable increase of, of circa 25 percent overall um, for the season. And what's that meant for exports then, Chris, with such a big discount? Yeah, so as I say, we have produced a surplus in the UK um, after a slow start to the campaign with uh, with pretty poor harvest conditions and, and a very slow offtake. Um, the UK has really picked up the pace in uh, in Q4 of 2020, and we see, and we saw particularly strong months in November and December, where um, around 550,000 tonnes were shipped according to the uh, HMRC figures, following demand from both nearby EU, EU buyers and uh, North African destinations where barley looked equally good value versus other products. Um, so the season through to the end of December, shipments are now just inside uh, 1 million tonnes, which actually when you factor in the increased domestic usage is approaching 60% of our exportable surplus. So on this graph here, you can see that that's well ahead now of the pace that we've seen in previous years. And, and as a result, we, we expect to see these exports tail off towards the end of the season. And, and essentially, we need to see, um, you know, pricing within the UK market appreciate to keep barley in the country. So could we see quite a tight end to the uh, to the 2020 campaign then? Yeah, I think overall we, we can certainly. I mean, the, the discount to the wheat has widened in by between 10 and 20 pounds, depending where in the country you are. Um, but overall, barley is still trading, you know, very cheap, I guess, fundamentally, and it does still look good value. So we can expect to see good demand through to the end of the year. And barley is certainly feeling in short supply. OK, that's interesting, Chris. I mean, just finally, what about new crop? What are the prospects for the for the upcoming uh, 2021 harvest on barley? Yeah, I mean, for, for the new crop positions, it's going to be interesting because it all hangs in the plantings over the next uh, next few weeks and months. It or we are we are looking to return to a, a more normal barley production in the UK and, and production is certainly going to be down year on year. Um, but at the moment, uh, yeah, it's looking a lot more tight and the discount to wheat has returned to a more a more usual level, we could say, of, of between 12 and 15 pounds a tonne. But um, overall, it's all all hangs in the balance with what happens over the next few months. Obviously, we've seen considerable wet weather to start the year off. And, um, you know, we're going to have to wait and see what crop gets planted in the spring before the market really establishes itself, particularly when you consider that this year we're expecting around about two thirds of the crop to be spring barley. Absolutely. OK, well, thank you for that, Chris. That's been a really interesting update on on the on the barley. A quick oh. whistle tour stop, uh, whistle stop tour of the barley market. Um, if anybody has any additional questions or wants to get in touch, our contact details at the end of this link or indeed reach out to your ADM Ag farm trader. Uh, thanks, everybody. Um, thanks, Chris, for your time. Thanks a lot. Cheers.